Capricorn, what's up? <laughs> Welcome back to Scarlet Phoenix Tarot. Long time, no time. I hope y'all are doing well. Happy birthday to all of you who have already celebrated this month, including yours truly. And happy birthday if you are celebrating this week. I am happy to finally get a reading out for you. I was like, I have to do it today. Capricorn season is almost over. Oh my gosh, I have to get you guys out of reading. I'm so sorry <laughs> that it's been so long. Um, if you're new, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm glad you found the channel. I hope the reading resonates. If it does, there will be an extended reading. You can find the link below to my Patreon page. If you are returning, God, you guys, thank you so much. Your girl has been through it. There have been some good times, some bad times, but there have been a lot of times. And these times have been keeping me from doing this with my channel. I mean, I just have not been able to keep up with it and I'm trying my best and I have all the intentions of coming back full force with more stuff in the future but right now I'm just uh, I have to follow along with the plan I don't make the rules the spirit makes the plan and I'm following spirits plan so when spirit says it's time for me to you know unveil all those things and really come back full force that's when it'll happen but thank you all for hanging in there with me I am still trying to stay afloat here and I have no intention of going anywhere so I appreciate you all and let's go ahead and get started with your reading, okay? Um, Capricorn, this is an interesting one. It looks like you've been through something. I mean, obviously, I mean, you're here. Um, usually people that are getting tarot readings or looking at tarot readings are going through some sort of challenge or separation. It's, you know, usually if things are going great, and I know this from experience from reading my own cards, things are going great. You're not really looking to <laughs> read your cards. You're busy having fun, right? Um, but uh, it does say here very soon, Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So something will be happening very soon. So you, And let me tell you that your lesson that you've been learning throughout the situation with this person is about indecision. One of your lessons. I'm not saying it's the only one. But indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. This is your soul lesson card. And it's interesting that very soon, clearly decide what you want. So there's two cards here already about decision making. So it seems that you have a choice coming up, Capricorn. And uh, you may have a little fear surrounding that decision because indecision, that's what, indecision is just fear in disguise, guys. You know, <laughs> um, if you don't know what to choose, it's because you're afraid of making the wrong decision. So don't let fear rule you, you know, you've got to figure it out. Spirit says, express your love. Somebody here is getting ready to express their love or somebody wants to express their love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Now, this could be advice for you to express your love to the person you're thinking about, or it could be telling us that this person feels that like they want to express their love for you to you. Uh, the energy is just coming out in the cards. It's not necessarily your advice, right? Um, we do see here that you're protected. You're safe and divinely guided throughout this situation. And that should give you a little bit of peace of mind. Um, it's almost kind of like, I mean, yes, we can make mistakes. We do make mistakes, but it's almost like we can't really make too much of a wrong move because I mean, we are following the plan where there is a plan. We're following along with spirits guidance. So if we do make a mistake, it's meant for us to learn from it is all I mean. It's not like, you know, cause you can make a mistake that hurts somebody else too. And obviously that's terrible, but it, you know, it does happen and we're meant to learn from it. And the person that's hurt is also meant to learn from it. Um, we have friendship here. So that says this friendship is leading to more. Now, again, with these cards, it could be that you actually have a friend, that this person that you're thinking about is a friend and that it's starting to blossom into something more. Or it could be that you're already in a, a relationship. Maybe it started as casual or like uh, friends with benefits or something, and it's actually leading to more. Maybe it's blooming into something deeper. Um, but either way, you know, it's there's a friendship here and it's leading to more. It's leading to more what? More something. Um, looks like conversation is in order here. Coffee cups coming up, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship coming out here again. So for some of you, this really is somebody like a friend, okay? And it's literally about to take that, you know, next step. Um, we have love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So, you know, again, this could be somebody that was just like a very casual connection uh, if, if it was sexual or it wasn't sexual at all. It was more platonic friendly. And there is an attraction there and there's there are feelings there and somebody wants to express them. 
somebody is getting ready to express them, it seems. Um, maybe somebody, maybe you have been very indecided about or undecided about whether or not you should express them. But it does say here to express your love. Now, we have Spasartine Garnet coming up as your Crystal Spirit Oracle. This is a stone that encourages you to find your self-confidence, to shine brightly. Don't dim your light. I do happen to have one Spasartine Garnet. Um, it's a little bit browner. Like, this is a regular, I mean, I don't know what kind of garnet this is, but it is a garnet. This is a Spasartine Garnet. So it's lighter, browner, uh, but it is... Uh, a stone that is and you know it does it's like a bossy cheerleader is the way the, the book describes it if you keep it in your pocket it can really help to boost your self-esteem okay um we have vulture spirit coming out here for your spirit animal nothing is wasted that tells me that you know you've been through a lot of hurt there's been a lot of pain there's a bunch of gunk in your heart that needs to be cleared out but it's not to go to waste not even a single tear that you've cried capricorn is, has gone to waste okay all of those Every hurt that we feel is meant to teach us something, okay? And we have here with your oracles, these two oracles from the Madame um, Andorra's fortune cards. We have the gate that does say a barrier keeps you from your goal. So there is something that you have to do first or you have to find your way through to the other side. Um, you have to find the key yourself. And it says seek wisdom and guidance from elders. But this card also encourages you to seek wisdom from wherever you can, from within, from books, from wherever. But there is something you're supposed to be learning here. You're supposed to be seeking, I believe, the lesson. I think you're supposed to be searching for the lesson. And it's not just the lesson of the indecision. It's what is the lesson in all this, in, in this pain that you felt with this person, in the entire experience? Uh, what have, what do you feel spirit has been trying to teach you here? You need to find it because that is the key to open the gate to get to the other side, to what you want, okay? Uh, as far as the tarot goes, we'll go ahead and get started on that. We have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse as your overall energy of this connection. That means it's, it's at a standstill. It ain't moving. It's at a complete stop right now. Okay, because this guy in the upright, he's moving, but he's moving super slow. So in the reverse, it's literally no movement at all. So right now you may be on a break from this person. Uh, or it's just you're in some sort of holding pattern. Um, we're going to clarify, by the way, uh, I'll shuffle and everything in front of you for the clarifying cards, but it just keeps the time for the reading down if I put the cards out, uh, the first layer out first. Um, I know some people don't like the cards to be put down already, but really, if you think about it, it doesn't really matter because even if a, a reader has the cards already down, do they have insight into your life? Do they know what's going on? They can't really cheat. Either the cards resonate with you or they don't. It doesn't matter if you see the reader shuffle before or not. They either resonate or they don't. They're for you or they're not. So... Uh, I hope that it doesn't bother too many people, but I'm trying to save everybody time because it, it is very time consuming. I give you guys a lot of oracles in the regular free YouTube reading and, you know, it would be like an hour. And I know nobody wants to sit there and invest an hour, right? Um, so now you get all the information, but not necessarily have to put in all the time. Okay, I put in that time before by shuffling and putting them all out. But anyway, how do you feel about this person right now? I mean, it's not telling me really how much you feel like for them, like your feelings, feelings. But the one thing that you are feeling is that they're kind of an idiot. Like not like mean spiritedly, but you just feel like if they've hurt you or if they've walked away or something, you just feel like, what the heck? Like this person is, has a screw loose. How do they not see what this is? What, you know, how do they not see me? How do they not see what we had? How can they not see how good it could be? Whatever. They're not seeing something. They're afraid to take a risk on this. They're not moving forward. They're afraid to take that leap. And you're just like, God, come on. You just feel like they're kind of a, a little bit of a blockhead right now. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Um, cause the fool in reverse can literally be somebody who's like acting like a fool. They're just acting a fool. Uh, they feel about you very, I would say they're very sexually attracted to you, no matter what. With the Queen of Wands, this is how they see you, how they feel about you. It's amazing. Very passionate if you are already sexually engaged. If not, boy, they want to be <laughs> with the Queen of Wands here. Um, this is somebody, they also think that you're somebody who really takes charge. You may be, you know, like a power woman, you know, like a bossy, a boss chick <laughs> or something like that. Certainly you could be. Um, but either way... You definitely have a strong sexual energy, and they like it, <laughs> okay? That's all I see from that from now. We're going to clarify in a minute. What happened in the past? There was some sort of rejection. Somebody pushed the other one away. However that went down, I don't know. It can be really minor, and it can really be more like a, 
they were really busy that day and it was just, you know, a stupid, like they weren't thinking and didn't mean to push you away, but you took it as a major rejection or it could be an actual literal, um, yeah, no, I'm not into you. It could be, a, I don't think so because they are, or unless this was you, but um, there, there was some sort of rejection here in the past, okay? Um, what's the blockage? What's the challenge? Ooh, the Queen of Swords in reverse is, is uh, blocking here. Okay, the challenge. Now, this could be a person exterior to your connection. If it is, watch out. This is someone who acts without integrity. This person does not care about feelings. They do not care about, most likely about legalities even. They don't care about anything. They This is somebody that it does not have integrity. They will say whatever they want. They will do whatever they want. And they will cut down whoever they feel is in their way. Okay. Uh, this is the Queen of Swords in reverse is not someone you want to cross. So if this is an external party, you need to stay away or walk, tread, tread carefully is all I'm saying. If this is not external to your party, this could be one or both of you in this energy. And that is, well, I mean, if it's not about a lack of integrity and it's somebody that's just hella mad and ain't holding back their words at all, they are saying it as it comes to them. Okay. So it is a very cutting energy. It is very unpleasant, no matter what side you're on, I'm saying, okay? So that's what blocks right now, the Queen of Swords in reverse. Some of you, that could be, uh, could it means Libra energy. Now, I will say Libra squares Capricorn. There's nothing in Libra right now. Uh, I mean, there may be some asteroids that I'm unaware of, but there's nothing big in Libra right now. But Libra in general squares Capricorn. The nodes, interestingly enough, of fate, the lunar nodes will be moving into Aries and Libra this year. So me and all of y'all need to wear it, watch out because uh, Libra and Aries square Capricorn. So Capricorn will definitely feel that. Okay. I'm not saying I'm not trying to scare you or like it's going to be a horrible thing, but it is meant to shift you and course correct you. Us. I'm saying it's like, it's just you, but I'm a Capricorn. If you guys don't know, I'm a Capricorn sun. So um, it's meant to shift us and your sun sign is like your path, like what you're really meant to accomplish in this life. Oftentimes it's connected to your career, but anything else also that is, it's, it's where you shine, you know, it's, it's not only where you shine, but it's definitely the representative of your soul in this life. And so uh, the nodes squaring your sun, if it's your sun, especially it's definitely going to course correct you if you're not on the right path in any way. Okay. Um, so what is this person's most likely next move in regards to you, Capricorn? Eh, the King of Pentacles in reverse. This is not the most stable energy. You'd like to think so since it's the King of Pentacles. In upright, if he was in the upright, I'd be like, yes, okay, this is great. This guy or per person, it doesn't have to be male. The It's not about gender specific, specific, specificity here. It's energy, okay, but I may say he or she just out of the traditional uh, roles just at, for ease and channeling sake, you know, uh, but it is not gender specific in the upright. This is a very solid, stable person who is good with their money. They have it all together. They probably have money in the bank. All their bills are paid and they're ready to share. They're ready to, you know, they want a partner to have fun with and to, you know, they, they're ready to settle down. This is the energy of somebody who would like to settle down. They like fine things and they want someone to share it with. Okay. Um, in the reverse, it's somebody who's at best still working on themselves at best, still working towards a goal, probably financial at worst. It is a narcissist guys. Okay. This is somebody who is very self centered, self absorbed, self focused, and most likely ultra materialistic, um, more focused on worldly things and the material world material, like actual things rather than people, rather than spiritual growth, rather than anything. Okay, so that's the energy this person is coming towards you at. At the minimum, I'm not saying all of you are dealing with someone like that. I'm just saying King of Pentacles in the reverse, they're not coming to bring stability to you. At the very minimum, very least stated way to say that they're not coming to lock it down with you. Not with this card. We're going to get clarifiers. Maybe they want to, but they just don't have what it takes. Maybe they want to, but there's a Queen of Swords in reverse uh, in the way. Um, but they're not bringing it. Okay, what's your advice from Spirit Capricorn? At least for now, it's to move on, set sail. The Six of Swords, the, it's not, there's not a viable, from what I can tell. Now, it is, this is the first layer. Okay, so if this layer resonates with you, then stay tuned for the second layer. There's going to be two more cards coming on each one of these placements of clarification, and we'll get more energy, okay? But at best, it says Spirit's telling you right now to move on. 
could be saying that, you know, if you're going through a really hard time right now, choppy waters in the five energy, like you're fighting and everything, that that could pass and you could be, you know, moving on from a fight or something. We'll get clarifiers in a minute. But right now you are being advised to move on from something or you are moving on from something or it's necessary to move on from something. I would think that it's telling you to move on from this connection because the the outcome of this connection, Capricorn, I'm sorry, it's the lovers in reverse. There could be a third party situation, that Queen of Swords could be an external party. Um, and the lovers in reverse says that this connection does not appear to be coming together at this time. It's still challenged. That can be a breakup. Um, but, uh, you know, it is a choice. The lover's energy is a choice. And in your outcome of this connection, I would think this person or you might, because you're in indecision, maybe you'll ultimately end up choosing against this connection. Um, because you do think this person is kind of an idiot at this time. You know, maybe they did, you did you dirty or... You may, maybe they chose some, maybe they chose this queen of swords over you. Um, and you're just like, really? You know? Um, so you're like, gosh, what is he, you know, what a blockhead or whatever, you know? So let's go ahead and get some clarifiers and see what else comes out here. Cappy, sorry, this one doesn't look too viable at this time, but we'll see. We'll see. Spirit, please. If, you, if you're wanting this, I mean, maybe you're not even wanting this person. This could be about somebody who's coming back that you're not even really interested in. Maybe you really think this person's an idiot. <laughs> um, but they're definitely... See, with this and this, their feelings for you look to me from this first layer to be more sexual in nature. With the Queen of Wands. And then they're coming at you with unstable energy with the queen, King of Pentacles in reverse. So, I just... I don't get a real you know if, if that's all you're looking for then you know great but i don't get a stable energy if you're looking for a relationship or something from this person from this first layer it doesn't look like that's what they're coming in with um but let's see let's see spirit please clarify these cards in the order that they're laid out two by two for capricorn sun moon rising and or venus and their person of interest please And clarify the overall energy, please, between Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus and their person of interest with two cards, please. Here, where I cut. All right. Spirit of the top 14 cards, the correct cards to accurately clarify the ones that are already laid out here for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. And are the two cards at the bottom of the deck the overall energy clarifiers? Thank you so much, Spirit. I appreciate you. All right, Cappy, if you have, you just saw, if you're new here, you'll see that I use my pendulum to determine the direction of the cards. I don't just take the reversals as they come out. There is very good reason for that. They come out wrong all the time, guys. If they were right, the pendulum would agree because cards are spirit, pendulum is spirit, <laughs> okay? So, and I trust, I mean, the cards can come out wrong. They just can. I'm sorry, but they can. Um, I've seen it a million times. So, um, let's see what we got here at the bottom of the deck upright or reverse the four of fire upright or reverse the moon yeah y'all are in no contact most likely or very little Yeah, so there was definitely a breakup. It's at a standstill right now. You may have been, you were headed somewhere with this person or you thought you were. It was moving super slow, but it still felt, there was a, a feeling of solidarity there for at least for a short time. Now it's done or it's, it's just right now stuck. It's stuck in the mud right now. The four of fire, that's the four of wands. In reverse, there's no stability. There's, it's, there's no relationship right now. It's at a standstill and the moon is confusion. It is secrets. It's possible deception. It's, you know, unclarity you can't see. It's darkness. So right now you're feeling like you're in the dark. You don't know what's going on. You know, I'm sorry. All right. How do you feel? Upright or reverse? The Sky Queen. So maybe you are the uh, Queen of Swords in reverse. Upright or reverse? So if you are the Queen of Swords in reverse, you're in the upright here and how you feel about this person. Uh, you want to talk. I mean, you know, you do think they made a dumb move or whatever. Or you think they're not seeing something or they're just being stupid. Uh, and you want to talk. 
Upright or reverse, the nine of earth. Oops, sorry. Upright or reverse, the nine of earth. Uh, well, Capricorn, um, the nine of earth is the nine of pentacles. And the first thing I got when I, when I pulled this card, guys, I really hope that you guys are not trying to talk to this person just because you don't want to be alone. Okay. The nine of earth, it's an energy of stability of being single. It's the, usually it's the woman with the bird on her, on her arm. She's got all, everything she needs. She just is looking for someone, a quality person to share it all with. Okay. Um, in the reverse, it's the energy of somebody who may, you know, is, is kind of un, unstable or doesn't want to be alone. Um, so, I don't know, the Sky Queen, you want to talk to this person, but I'm not sure what about, if it's just about you don't, you don't want to be alone. Um, the Fool in Reverse, uh, you know, you feel that, you do feel like this person, you want to tell this person like, you know, uh, you know, you really want to, you'd rather be alone. Like I'm hearing uh, you'd rather be alone than, you know, we had something good or we could have something great or whatever. Don't you see? How can you not see? Or how can you not feel? Or how can you not? That's what I'm getting. Um, but at the, you know, the very least you want to talk to this person. Okay. And I don't, I feel like you may be feeling a little bit unstable uh, at the time, probably because of the just the, the darkness you're, you're you're like oh there's some fear too like there's a little bit of fear uh upright or reverse the three of sky upright or reverse the five of earth Yeah, this person knows that they hurt you. They know, this person likely walked out on you with the five of earth. They likely just like checked out, abandoned, abandoned ship, walked out um, or just left you in the cold, dumped you. I'm so sorry to say it so harshly, but that is what this looks like. And there's a three of freaking sky, which is a three of swords. They know they left fallout. They know they broke your heart, okay? But they also know that you're strong and sexy and will probably be all right. All right, uh, but I get more that this person was, it, it is more sexual for this person. And then they, they know that they ended up hurting you um, by walking out or abandoning you. Upright or reverse the sun. Upright or reverse death. Yeah, it's like they, they rejected you and ended things, but didn't even really tell you why. They just, you know, the sun in reverse is like on clarity. Like, you are in the dark. Still, the moon. They're, you're like dumbfounded. Like, like really, just like kind of standing there with your mouth hanging open, like kind of looking like a fool a little bit. Like, what? Like, what just happened? <laughs> they rejected you and, you know, you just don't know why. They just literally like suddenly stopped it. Cut you off even, you know, um, and you're just, you would like some answers. That's what, probably why you really want to talk. Like why, <laughs> why? So the queen of swords and reverse blocks upright or reverse the wheel. Upright or reverse the eight of work, eight of earth. Well, guys, I'm sorry, but it looks like, you know, it just looks like this won't work or there, there isn't any effort being put in it, put in with the aid of earth, but the wheel there in reverse tells me that the, the universe is like 86 in this. The universe is saying, no, pulling out, you know, pulling the plug on this. Like it's not going to work with the eight of pentacles in reverse. The queen of swords is in reverse. Uh, so I, I kind of see this as divine protection, especially for those of you that this queen of swords is external to your connection. Okay. 
this Queen of Swords character in reverse, you don't want to mess with that person. And like, you might not want to be involved with this. Okay, the universe, the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse here, saying no, the time is not right, at least. It's not right now. Okay, if it's for the future, I don't know. But it, it, right now, the Wheel is saying no. Uh, and there's no effort being put in and Spirit's saying it won't work. That's what I'm getting. Definitely not with this Queen of Swords in reverse. So if that's you and that energy, then you need to work on yourself. Eight of Swords is in reverse. I mean, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. There's work needed. Okay, so someone needs to work on themselves or this is just not going to work because there's another person here. The timing is not right. And remember, sometimes rejection is for your protection. Okay? So the King of Pentacles is in reverse. This is the energy this person is in towards you or will either come towards you in or will be in if you approach them. Upright or reverse, the priest... Yeah, Capricorn, if you're looking for a commitment, you're not getting it from this person. I'm sorry. Upright or reverse, the Ten of Earth. Holy shit, it can't be clearer. I mean, this cannot be any clearer. This person is the most, least, the least committal person I've ever seen in a reading. Okay, the King of Pentacles in reverse, the Hierophant in reverse, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This person does not want to settle down. Well, they don't see this connection as the one that they're ready to settle on, Capricorn. I'm sorry to say. I have to keep it real here, okay? This is this is not, they're not putting in the energy that you want, okay? So you got to decide. If you want, if all you want is a casual sex relationship with nothing real, then, you know, this person might be down because they're definitely attracted to you. But if you're looking for anything solid or stable, this is not your person. I'm sorry. Spirit says move on. Upright or reverse, the eight of fire. Put some distance between you. <laughs> Move on as fast as you can. Upright or reverse the hermit. Ooh, spirit says ghost. Spirit says leave them in the past. Leave them in the dust. Okay? Literally. The aid of fire. That's something usually happens very quick, but it's also communication. Spirit says don't communicate with this person. The hermit is your advice. Spirit says no. Now, you don't have to take spirit's advice. If you want a real relationship... And, and you think this person's going to give it to you? Go ahead. Go ahead. Do it. But you're going to end up in this energy again. You are going to end up in Three of Swords energy again. And you will have no one to blame but yourself. Okay? Because you're being told. And you know it. I don't even have to tell you. You already know it. You're, you have intuition. That's why it says right here. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. You have intuition. You can make a decision. A good decision for yourself. Not based on trauma responses, trauma, you know, programming, because our trauma programs us to chase after people that don't deserve us. I'm sorry, but it's true. Okay. That's what the, that's what it does. The trauma continues to attract people that are going to traumatize us more until we realize that we're running on a program and deliver ourselves from it. That is the way it works. All right. So spirit wants you to clear the program. Do a system defrag. Smudge the hell out of yourself. Take a salt bath and leave that person in the past. Okay? Your outcome, I'm sorry, Capricorn. I'm, I'm giving you a little tough love right now. I'm feeling a little, woo. <laughs> Upright or reverse, the three of earth. Yeah, there's definitely another person here, I feel. Upright or reverse, the priestess. That is the high priestess. That tells me this connection is going silent okay it's 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 over capricorn i'm sorry the lovers in reverse is definitely a breakup and it's most likely a third party situation it is a choice but the three of earth is here in the reverse here that's three of pentacles that's a three so if there's a choice to be made you're either choosing against this person or they're choosing against you i'm sorry and the high priestess is the outcome. That's silence. That's it, this. This connection stays in the dream world, stays in the five D, the subconscious, whatever you want to call it. But it's it's not. This one's the one. This is not the one. I'm sorry, Cap. If you want to know more, you can follow me over to Patreon. I will be pulling more cards, get you, getting you direct messages from your person with the Hidden Truth Oracle, finding out what chakra needs the most aligning, getting you some more Oracle cards, looking at the astrology energies that are factoring in here. Uh, the link to my Patreon is below. Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, the link's below. 
Um, otherwise, Cap, I'm so sorry this wasn't a positive reading. I mean, it is still positive because you're learning, you're getting something, you're getting some, you know, spirit advice, whatever. Uh, but it's just not what you necessarily what you want to hear, unless you're already over this person. Um, but I feel you're still healing. Um, and I'm sorry, Cap. I love you guys. I hope you have a beautiful month and I will definitely be trying to come back more often and not letting as much time go by before I come back, especially for my Cappy crew. All right. So love you guys. Take care. Happy birthday again, belated, present or future. Talk to you later. Bye.